Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, something different today. We're going to look at some simple tricks and um, tips that maybe you didn't know about in ClickSense or this is just a beginner's version. So, so if you're interested to learn some tips and some uh, tricks in ClickSense, stick around. So number one, well, did you know that you could actually embed your entire dashboard into a website? Well, the way to do that is go to this extension button here and go to embed sheet. And here, what you do is you actually get a link to a web page, and this can be added to your company's website, a different web page. So whenever you load this particular um, this particular dashboard, the your web page also loads, and uh, you have a fresh new dashboard with new data there automatically without ever having to open the app. And I think that's really cool. You could also add some extra um, bookmarks over here if you only want to show a certain kind of data on your web page and then create the link and paste that in your web page. So trick number one, you can embed your dashboard into your web page. And um, trick number two, well, did you know that this is not the only workspace that you have? You can actually extend and have more space if it's required if all of your graphs aren't really fitting here or you want to use the extra space to add the filters you need to go to edit sheet and here you have something called extend sheet so click on that and you see extend sheet here so click on that and now you have extra space to work with number three while you're at it you know that as you move this you can only move your graphs in grid what if these grids were too big and you couldn't really adjust the graphs to the size that you wanted well you can change the size of the grid you can go to sheets and in grid spacing you can actually change the grid spacing to narrow medium and wide giving you access to a different set of grids that you can actually move your graphs into so you can make your graphs fit better in case um, in case they aren't be aren't fitting properly right now you could change uh, the grid spacings number four in your data model viewer let's say that you have a bunch of fields and you can't really figure out where the field is there's actually a way to search it and the way you do that is go to your data model viewer and here you have a search button you can actually click on that and say type the name of the field that you want or a table and it highlights it or type the name of the field and it shows you in which table that field is located in. So it makes it super easy if you have a bunch of fields that you're trying to search for and um, you can't really find it. So use the search bar in your data model viewer. And number five, this is something that I use all the time. If you have a really long script and um, it takes you a really long time to load, well, the best way to see whether you have bugs or not is to use the debug button here. Click on debug here and then click on limited load. So this only loads a couple of lines from your data and which is just enough for you to see whether your script has any kind of errors or not. And then you can press this one, or if you can press this, it goes sheet by sheet. But here, if you press this one, it loads all the data or runs the script once. And if you have, a, if you are loading some data there, it's only going to load the limited set number of lines just to make sure that your script has no errors in it. So usually some of my scripts take 20 minutes to load. Uh, and if there's an error, I don't want to find out after 20 minutes. So I usually run a debug just to find any errors and then take it away and um, make sure that there are no breakpoints found. So I hope these tips were helpful. Please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Cheers.